What AI can do right now is it can, can process information at, at speeds and, and rates um, that were previously unthinkable. Uh, and so for a company like IBM that has access to a lot of enterprise data, it's able to, to do what basically what IBM has been doing for before, but just do it at, at a much faster rate. I think we're going to see a situation where robots become much more complementary to our day-to-day -day lives. What's happening is that processing power in computers continues to rise exponentially. And there's enough spare now we can use it to sense the outside world. So robots suddenly can be much more capable of adapting to what's going on around them, which leads to the automation revolution which is coming up over the next 30 to 50 years. So right now one of the most uh, significant advances in AI research is called deep learning, uh, which is a technique that basically allows machines to recognize and, and um, identify patterns in large amounts of data. Uh, so you have these companies like Google and Facebook that have massive, massive reams of data that were previously they could not really tap them. Um, and so now they can do things like speech recognition or image recognition um, and, and use these, the data that they, they have in their reserves. The lack of disclosure really does contribute to this idea that there's a myth that, that AI is, is dangerous, right? And you have DeepMind, which is this kind of you know, mask and secretive company that Google acquired, and, and the first product they came out with in the market now is in the capacity um, for Google to look at your Instagram photos and see how many calories are there. I mean, there's certainly a lot of like privacy constraint there that, that are probably more important, um, but it's not like we're moving towards the direction of Skynet.